Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. The National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus held a press conference to discuss the latest updates on the coronavirus. The Undersecretary at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid El Mana, affirmed the importance of refraining from all gatherings during the next two weeks and of following precautionary measures to decrease the number of infections. He stated that the increase in the number of infections is a result of holding various gatherings and the relaxing of following precautionary measures notifying and noting that the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus continues to study the indicators and review all developments regarding the virus. Elmana affirmed that the inspection campaigns conducted by the teams of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism as well as the Ministry of Health continue in order to ensure that all measures are taken by all facilities. For his part, infectious diseases consultant and microbiologist at the BDF Hospital and member of the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus, Menaf al Ghattani asserted that gatherings of all kinds will lead to a further increase in the number of infections as a result of the non compliance with the necessary precautions. He expressed thanks to all volunteers participating in the COVID 19 vaccine third clinical trials and called on all citizens and residents to participate to reach the goal of 6,000 volunteers. The consultant of infectious and internal diseases at Salmania Medical Complex. Dr. Jamila Salman stated that the Ministry of Health is keen on the early detection of new cases and contacts through expanding the range and number of daily and random tests. Dr. Salman reiterated the importance of wearing face masks at all times when outside, as well as washing hands periodically and disinfecting all surfaces used frequently. She stated that all those who show any symptoms should call 444 and follow all the instructions given. The Ministry of Health participated in the launch of an online training course entitled Primary Care Practices, which was prepared by the Middle East Office of the World Health Organization, the WHO, and was also attended by the World Health Organization of Family Doctors and various United Nations agencies. The Minister of Health, Faiqa Saleh, deputized the Assistant Undersecretary for First Aid Care, Dr. Menal Al Alawi, participated in the launch with the aim of training employees in primary care practices, especially in light of the outbreak of the coronavirus COVID-19. The initiative is in line with the regional vision of health for, uh, for and by all, as efforts are being made to maintain primary health care services at this exceptional period as Bahrain continues to work towards achieving the objectives of sustainable development. The Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, Mustafa Sayed, received the Sudanese ambassador to Bahrain, Ibrahim Mohammed Al Hassan Ahmed. They discussed the current humanitarian situation in Sudan and the suffering of the Sudanese people due to the floods over the past period. Dr. Sayed commended the efforts exerted by the ambassador to enhance bilateral relations and cooperation across various fields. The Sudanese ambassador praised the keen interest of the honorary president of the RHF. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in the field of humanitarian work, which provides aid to the needy in various countries. He expressed appreciation for the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work in youth affairs and the chairman of the board of the URHF, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He concluded by highlighting Bahrain's supportive position as a fixture of the deep rooted bilateral ties, of which the latest initiative is only the most recent example. The Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, Dr. Mustafa Said, and the Chairman of Customs, Deputy President of the World Customs Organization, Deputy Chairman of the Customs Organization, and the Regional Representative of North Africa, the Near and Middle East, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, also received the Ambassador of Lebanon to Bahrain, Dr. Milad Namur. Dr. Mustafa Said conveyed the greetings and appreciation of the Representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work in Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad al Khalifa to the Lebanese people and his wishes of security, safety and peace for Lebanon. He affirmed that their royal directives of supporting the Lebanese people and alleviating the consequences of the humanitarian catastrophe in their country are an affirmation of the distinguished historical fraternal relations between Bahrain and Lebanon. For his part, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad al Khalifa expressed the appreciation of the World Customs Organization to His Majesty the King for his wise directives 
to provide aid and assistance to the Lebanese people and His Majesty's keenness to support Lebanon in light of the dire circumstances in their country. Dr. Milad Namora praised the directives of His Majesty the King to provide assistance in light of the repercussions of the disaster, expressing the thanks and appreciation of the Lebanese government and the Lebanese people for this noble stance from Bahrain. The CEO of the Labour Market Regularity Authority, Osama al Absi, said that the authority will not allow runaway workers to regularize their situation by obtaining a flexi permit or transferring to a new employer. He added that the total number of runaway workers reported to the authority does not exceed 0.4% of the total expatriate workforce in the kingdom, whose only option will be deportation. He said that the employer has to file a report on employment employee's absence for 15 days or more without notice, after which the employee cannot request to transfer to work elsewhere or resume work with his current employer, and a flexi permit will be denied thereafter. The LMRA CEO noted that workers who benefited from the amnesty period are those whose permits expired and their employers did not renew it, and those whose employers have cancelled their permits without sending them back to their home countries. He highlighted that under the amnesty the start, uh, that started in April and will continue to the end of the year, 53,000 workers have regularized their situation. The Minister of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 5,002 with 334 recoveries, 702 registered new cases, 98 of which are the new registered cases are expatriates, 602 are contacts of active cases and two are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.